Hi guys, this is Asha and this is my tutorial on how, on how to root the Wildfire S. So uh, I've got an HTC Wildfire S over here. Um, let me just show you what it's running right now. About phone, software information. So it's running Android 2.3.5, Sense 2.1. Uh, and these are the baseband and kernel versions. So in order to uh, root a Wildfire S, the first thing you need to do is actually unlock the bootloader and in order to do that you need to actually log into htcdev.com uh, create a create a username and password that is register and once you've logged in click on unlock bootloader and hit get started and once you get to this page just go ahead and select the phone uh, wildfire s and hit begin unlock bootloader So click yes over here. So guys, uh, as far as warranty goes, the way it works is that as long as you don't uh, create any issues that mess with the bootloader and that mess, you know, any software messes that we create, we are responsible for and HTC will not take responsibility. But then again, uh, if there is an issue that you're going to create, there are thousands of people who have rooted this phone before you. So there's someone who's going to have created the same issue and it's probably going to be easily fixed uh, in all honesty the chances of doing permanent damage to your phone by rooting it uh, is very very low so uh, I'd suggest don't worry about it but as far as hardware issues, issues go if there is any issue with the phone your warranty should still cover it so that is what I've read online so now moving on uh, check both these boxes and click proceed to unlock instructions so guys, the first thing you do over here is you just scroll down and select uh, what your carrier is. And if in case your phone is not a carrier locked phone, you can select uh, whatever is suitable for you. So for me, it's going to be HTC Asia India. So I'm going to go ahead and download the file next to it. And uh, you have to make sure that you're updated to the latest version that is shown over there. So I'm just going to go ahead and check whether the phone is updated to that. Two point thirteen point seven twenty dot one. So that's exactly what you, you, I'm supposed to be on, and that is the software that my phone is running. So guys, while this down this download is happening, make sure you download and install HTC Sync as well. So uh, once you've done both, pause the video over here. Once you've done both, get back to the video. Okay, guys, now the files have been downloaded. So let me quickly navigate to where I've downloaded the files to. Okay, so what we do right now is we. Take the phone, go into settings, applications, uh, development, and enable USB debugging. And guys, remember once you've uh, rooted your phone, you will not be eligible for over the air updates. But then again, when you're rooting your phone, the most probable reason why you're doing it is to install custom ROMs, in which case you wouldn't give you wouldn't be caring about the uh, OTA updates. So but I just wanted to let you guys know beforehand. So right now, uh, once you've enabled the USB debugging, you just go ahead and connect the USB cable. So guys, before you do this, make sure that you have uh, mm -hmm. HTC Sync installed. Uh, so right now, once the phone has been detected by uh, the computer, just go ahead and click on this file that you downloaded exe file double click on it and uh, click I understand and click next so make sure that the battery has more than a charge of 30% check Disable standby and hibernate on the PC, check. Connect the smartphone to the USB cable, check. So now hit next. Okay, once you come to the screen, just hit on update. And hit next. Hit next again. So just leave the phone as it is. ROM image will be updated onto the, onto the phone. 
and this time your phone would reboot so don't worry about that So guys, once it says your ROM update is not complete, hit finish and uh, your phone will be rebooting. So wait for your phone to boot back up. Okay guys, now that the exe file has actually been, uh, the installation is done, the first thing we do is we actually pull out the, pull out the battery. Pull out the battery, put it back in. So guys over here under required resources you will be asked to download some stuff so apart from HTC sync which we've already downloaded and installed you don't have to download anything else uh, just use my link one and download the uh, a file called fastboot.zip once you've downloaded fastboot.zip unzip it onto your uh, C drive root so it should look something like uh, C drive fastboot okay guys now hold the volume down and power keys and that should boot you into the bootloader mode and now select fastboot and hit the power button. Now uh, get the USB cable and connect it to your phone. And uh, leave the phone as it is. And now scroll down and proceed to step five. And you can ignore these steps because we have all these files downloaded from the link one. So what you do is you start command prompt up by typing CMD and now just go ahead and uh, hit cd dot dot cd dot dot and then cd slash fastboot now you're in the fastboot folder proceed to step 8 so right now type the following command fastboot oem get underscore identifier underscore token okay guys my phone wasn't into the in the fastboot menu so I just put it in the fastboot menu so once we are in the fastboot menu and we hit enter we get this code so what you do is right click hit mark and select from identifier token start to identifier token end and hit control C and once you're done just scroll down and enter my device identifier token control V okay and when, once you've pasted it just hit submit so once you've submitted the token you just need to refresh your mail and you get the key to unlocking the device so you will find a uh, attachment over here just download it and download it onto the same file the C drive fastboot and save it so once you've saved it, click on the link over here that says click here to continue the bootloader unlocking process. So now guys, go back into the command prompt and type the following command. Fastboot space flash space unlock token space unlock underscore code dot bin and hit enter. So right now on your phone this is the screen that you would see so use the volume keys and select yes and hit the power button again so that's pretty much it for unlocking the bootloader guys now your phone will boot back in and your bootloader will be unlocked so right now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install clockwork clockwork mod recovery and uh, super user permissions as well all right guys now uh, from link one download the clockwork mod recovery.zip file and uh, unzip it into the fastboot folder and now go ahead and uh, volume down and power on your HTC uh, Wi-Fi RS now connect the phone with a USB cable so guys now press the power, power key and hit get into the fastboot mode and uh, keep it plugged in and leave it as it is so now once you are in once you are in uh, C drive slash uh, fastboot uh, enter this command fastboot space flash space recovery space recovery dot img
Okay, so now once that's done, now scroll down and hit on a hit reboot. Okay guys, now that the phone is back up, uh, just go ahead and select uh, the disk drive and uh, transfer the root the root.zip file from the third link that we had and uh, place it in the root of the SD card. I've already done that. So once you've done that, go ahead and turn the phone back off. Okay guys, now hold the down volume and the power button at the same time. And now go into recovery. Use the volume keys to scroll. Go to recovery and hit power to select. And now we are in clockwork mode recovery. So go to install zip from SD card and hit power to select and choose zip from SD card. And now scroll down till you find root.zip. Again hit the power button and select yes install root.zip. So once you're done, go back and reboot system now. Okay guys, the phone is back up right now, so let's go into uh, menu. Let's go into the app draw. And there you see super user. So uh, as you can see, we've got clockwork mode recovery installed and also super user installed on this phone right now. So that's pretty much it for rooting the wildfire risk guys. If you guys have any kind of questions, please please feel free to contact me. I'd suggest you actually email me or send a Facebook message because you know when it's a threaded view, it's easier for me to keep track of what we've been conversing. Uh, or at least leave a comment or hit me up on Twitter or whatever. I'll make sure I get back to you as quick as possible. Uh, my contact details to my Facebook and Twitter pages as well as, well as my uh, email address are in the description. So uh, do not hesitate to ask me if you have any kind of questions, don't worry about it. No, no matter how simple it is, get, uh, hit me up, I'll try to get, uh, help you out and get back to you as quick as possible. And uh, before you go guys, uh, hit the subscribe button on top and the like button below. Uh, or if you have time on you, hit on, hit the subscribe button and then change your mind and hit the like button. I don't know, doesn't hurt to ask I guess. So anyway guys, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, you guys have a great day. Bye bye now.